you don't need a PhD in mechanics to figure out that there is something wrong inside this engine and there has been a collision. The primary gear was uh, stopped very suddenly when the engine ceased causing the wedge to chop off and the gear itself turned another 20-30 degrees. But fortunately the crank itself was intact but uh, the housing for the counterbalancer wasn't. You can see it bulging out from something wanting to come out. And the counterbalancer was bent like this. You can even see the race in one of the bearings being cracked. And the organic uh, drive gear was also damaged. Here is uh, the big end. And there was a crack in the sleeve uh, where the needle bearings go. And you can also see dents from the needles. Uh, because this was kind of squeezed and uh, this is uh, the needles themselves not as round as you would like them to be after having uh, inspected all the internal internals and trying to figure out in what sequence uh, everything happened when it went south I've come to the conclusion that this organic gear wasn't uh, fit for the purpose um, I think it uh, suffers from the fluctuating forces from a thumper, that it's not even around one revolution. Uh, and uh, any gear would uh, not like this very much, and apparently not an organic one. But I'm uh, fully occupied with uh, doing yet an up upgraded model in uh, 3D CAD with uh, some enhancements because uh, the general idea with balancing was super, but now we need it to uh, be more reliable. So, what's the aftermath of this technical adventure? Well, uh, let's start with the good things. Um, I know for a fact now that this solves the vibrations perfectly. Uh, I mean, the difference uh, in vibrations are huge and uh, I would say they are corresponding to what in theory the was said to be sometimes between 6 and 10 times uh, lesser vibrations uh, amplitude-wise than before. So that was thumbs up, very good indeed. It felt super smooth and uh, it was uh, really nice when, when putting throttle on. Uh, but there were some uh, drawbacks on this and um, the <coughs> crankcase, uh, the main bearing seat was moved a little bit back like uh, one or two tenths of millimeters and of course this uh, added housing was uh, damaged a lot so all this have to go. I'm sorry to say, um, but there's um, no, no alternatives. Uh, the connecting rod was damaged uh, inside here from uh, the needles in the needle bearing. Uh, so this has to be refurbished with a new liner. Also uh, the big end pin in the, the crank was uh, also having some, some marks from the needles. Um, of course, uh, there will have to be a new counterbalancer. This time it will have a, a conical attachment to, uh, to the gear and it will be, because of that, it will have to come a little bit away from, from uh, the crank, just two millimeters more. But uh, when doing that, I can also add a couple of millimeters here. So it will be a new design and uh, that will do the trick, I'm pretty sure of it. Uh, this uh, organic gear uh, will not find its way here again. Uh, I will make uh, steel ones both from uh, the crank and the counterbalancer. And they will be soaked in oil. I will make a lid here and put some small oil level here, put some transmission oil and uh, a small side glass and uh, some, something to fill it in and so on. So that will be good. And then there are the normal crash uh, side effects of uh, things um, looking like this. Maybe the 
gear pedal needs some um, refreshing and foot pegs and stuff. Uh, that's all normal when when it um, when you don't have the rubber side down. And my uh, ribs are uh, coming together as well. I broke on both sides, so uh, sneezing was not uh, super fun. And all of you that tried uh, breaking ribs know what I'm talking about. But um, now that is okay, so I better get started with uh, with this. Maybe you've seen uh, some of my videos during the years uh, where I um, try to uh, to get this uh, monster onto the track. It wasn't as easy as uh, you would think it would be. But now I'm very close, uh, solving the issue with, with the reliability, uh, with the main bearings and the vibrations as a cause of, of ditching the first counterbalancer. So we are this close, but it's awfully expensive doing these experiments. So uh, any sponsorship would be greatly appreciated. And if you would like to see more videos coming your way, of uh, hopefully some onboard videos on this one uh, bashing around in a in a in a track uh, showing off what it's good for because it is it weighs 116 kilos and puts out 88 horsepower on the rear wheel very very amusing for an old fart um, so please, uh, your contribution would be greatly appreciated and uh, it will be on a GoFundMe campaign I've started. I think you can see some, uh, I'll add some, some links to that. But otherwise search for uh, the DRC680, I'm sure you can find it. Uh, thanks in advance and uh, see you soon.